Hello and welcome back to the channel YouTube fan. So today's video is going to be a continuation of last week's video. So I suggest if you haven't seen last week's video, if you haven't seen uh, Miami Lakes, everything that you need to know. So yeah, I suggest you watch the first video obviously first and then come back to this one. So before we start on today's video, where it's going to continue right off from where we left off last week, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Let's talk about how expensive it is to live in Miami Lakes. So Miami Lakes is neither the most expensive place around town, nor is it the least expensive place around town. It's somewhere in the middle. I would say that uh, right now in Miami Lakes for you to rent a, a one bedroom apartment right now in Miami Lakes, uh, you're looking at minimum. I can't imagine you finding anything for less than 1600 bucks, somewhere around there, 1600. Um, and some of the nicer apartments will go for around $2,000. Uh, and that's uh, one bedroom. So yeah, that is pretty much the cost of renting in Miami Lakes. So that's where, where it starts at, somewhere around there. And the prices of homes right now in Miami Lakes, um, well, and, and I mean right now, because you, you never know what's gonna happen, right? With, uh, with real estate goes up, goes down. Uh, this is uh, September of uh, 2021. So I can just talk about the way it is right now. So right now to buy, uh, I would say a, a condo in Miami Lakes, uh, an apartment in Miami Lakes, you're looking, I can't imagine you finding anything for right around 200,000, you know, a little bit less, a little bit more, but right around there, that's where you're gonna start to find condos in Miami Lakes. And as far as townhouses, townhouses, uh, they start somewhere around 300,000, okay? So somewhere around there, it could be maybe 280, it could be 320, somewhere in there you'll, you'll start finding some. And homes you'll find at somewhere around 400,000. So a little bit more, a little bit less, but somewhere around there. And that neither makes it the most expensive place around town, uh, nor is it the cheapest place around town. You can find a lot less than that in some other areas. But uh, that being said, um, let's get right into today's video. Uh, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Okay, one last thing I wanted to I wanted to say is that if you're interested in anything about Miami Lakes, if there's something that you want to know specifically that I did not talk about or cover in this video, comment below or reach out to me uh, in a DM on Instagram, something like that. Uh, by the way, follow me on Instagram, Adam Neil Capote. I'll put it uh, right here on the video. Uh, follow me on Instagram, send me a DM, ask me what it is that you want to know specifically about Miami Lakes, and I'll get back to you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. All right, let's keep going down Main Street. All right, let me give you guys some fun facts from back in the past. Again, remember, I've been in this area and, and I told you guys my very first job in Miami, I was 19 years old. It was here on Main Street at the end of the, at, at the, what is now Shula's, but back then it was Miami Lakes Inn. Uh, but this used to be a Sabaro's Pizza, I don't know if you if you remember that where where Coldstone is now and the space next to it. It was all one big space. It was Sabaro's Pizza back in the day. This used to be a Tony Romans. Remember that? This jewelry store used to be a Specs. <laughs> remember buying CDs? Yeah, if you're a kid, you might be like, "What's a CD?" <laughs> yeah, CDs were a thing, guys. They were a thing. Um, movies were a thing right guys <laughs> ever since covid it doesn't seem like it's a thing anymore but it was a thing you could hang out with friends you could you could go uh hang out at the movies and it didn't matter now we got covid we can't do anything it, it really sucks to be a kid right now i mean it's got to be like so boring you can't do anything i mean if you're if you're a kid right now man wow even going to school sucks and you gotta wear a mask and you gotta do this and that and you can't hang out it's just freaking horrible anyway here's the <laughs> oh man here's the again the little farmer's market is going on the vendors you know you get different vendors but there you see it well i'm really giving you guys today a a tour of uh of the area where i live so some of these places i remember what they used to be Wow, look, Victoria's Secret. They closed that down. Unbelievable. Victoria's Secret. They always do so well. So I don't remember what it used to be like way back, but this, I mean, all, most of these shops have changed. Uh, again, I'm talking from back in 1989. 
to today, most of them have changed, but there is still a few survivors from that era, if you could believe that. Like, well, the movies have always been there. Uh, this uh, Snow's Jewelry has been here ever since I was working at the hotel. Snow's Jewelry has always been there. They're survivors. Guys, you know, if you need some jewelry, <laughs> Snow's Jewelry right there, they've always been there. They've been survivors, so they, they must do a good job. But basically, a lot of these are all different. Um, I grabbed some clips last time of the hotel and all of that, so I, I think uh, I have enough to, to put this video together. But there's the bakery at the end, and there's after the bakery, there's one more block. If you could see it from here, there's, it goes one more block, but the last block over there, there's no businesses or anything. That's just uh, apartments. They're really nice. Actually, I almost moved to those, but then we found another one we like more down the other street. And here's the bakery. So the, the little French bistro bakery slash coffee shop, it's always been here. Let's see if they still make those uh, pastries. Let's go inside. Hi, how are you? Do you guys have the uh, strawberry and cream cheese croissants? All right, let me get one of those. Do you have apple? No apple. No apple? Do you still make them? No. Oh man, used to be back in the day one of my favorites. And do you have the palmiers? Palmier, okay, for the day. Done? But you still make them? And both nuts that we make them a little bit bigger than that. Oh, not the little ones? Not the little almond ones. Man, everything's changed. All right, let me get uh, two of the guava, two of the strawberry, right, the strawberry cream cheese. I almost said guava. Right, guava and cream cheese, that goes together like, like lamb and tuna fish. <laughs> uh, no, just that, thank you. All right, so walking here down memory lane, you guys saw it. They don't make the apple one anymore. Here's the front of the hotel. Like I said, it used to be called Miami Lakes Inn. Uh, the athletic club, which is really nice, is right there at, at the corner. And then down a couple streets here is the golf resort. Now it's uh, Shula's Golf Resort or whatever they call it, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, this is the Vida Fronts. Little French Bistro. Slash cafe, another, another cafe here in town, guys. Um, this one is very convenient, but unfortunately, the the coffee they make now is just uh, run-of-the-mill Starbucks stuff. It used to be like a really cool experience. Uh, anyway, I can make great coffee at home, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, let's try to go to Sergio's. Let's see if uh, we can I can film a little bit of of them making the Cuban coffee, so I could show you guys. Uh, and when I get back home, I'll film a little clip. I'll give you a taste test of these pastries. At least you saw it. They still make the strawberry and cream cheese. Come out here and try them. Uh, the Palmier, she said they changed. I, I don't know. I got to try the new style one, one of these days. Uh, supposedly, she said that they're bigger. You saw they're not the same little cookies they used to make before. They were delicious, man. Wow. All right, there you see the, the apartments, everything. This is a really nice area to, to live at. Uh, like, seriously, Miami Lakes is top-notch. Um, doesn't get a lot better than this. Anyway, let's uh, let's get out to uh, Sergio's and let's see if there's anything interesting here in the farmer's market today going on. Uh, before we go, let me get another clip of this. See what we got. You guys saw last time, I, I think I got some, some good clips. I didn't have the same camera. If you guys can see now, the, the sound is probably a lot better and it's a lot more stable. I don't know if that music is gonna get me uh, in trouble here but hopefully not because I want to have this audio <laughs> I 
I don't know how my friend from off our couch, I told you guys about them before, uh, other YouTubers, friends of mine. I don't know how, how Nat does it with all that, uh, she does all that voiceover. Like how in the world, you know how much like effort it is to like, it's like doing the work twice, right? I'm right now I'm filming and walking and talking and doing everything at once. I don't want to have to get back home. Check those out, that's pretty cool to get back home and have to do the, holy cow, a mass shot. <laughs> the COVID days, guys, the COVID days. But I don't wanna get back home and have to do the work again. Like, how does she do it? And all the research, like her videos, you know, if you wanna visit some of these places that they film at, it's crazy because she does so much research and finds out all these details. I don't got time for that. I ain't got no time for that. I gotta work. Nah, do you work? I mean, I, the videos are work, but I'm <laughs> just playing. Holy cow. Oh, this one looks interesting. You got burgers, hot dogs. Cool, cool, cool. Arepas. Oh, man, if you guys don't know about this, this, this is it. Oh, these are cachapas. These are the uh, sweet corn with cheese. Hi, how are you? The corn, corn on the cob. Pinchos, the guacachapas with cheese. You guys gotta try that. That's Venezuelan as far as I know. I hope, maybe it's Colombian. I don't know, guys don't get mad at me. It's not Cuban. I'm not taking credit for that. But anyway, got some fruits. I wonder if you guys are gonna enjoy this. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. I wish you guys filmed around town and, and, and show me where you guys live. It's all my YouTube, my YouTube buddies. YouTube fam, the ones that do YouTube. I have a few viewers that they don't do YouTube. But the ones that do, please guys get out there, show me around your town. And Dougie, I know you're in Cali, that's where I grew up. Uh, a lot of beautiful places to go film over there. And Freddie, you're in, I think, I'm not sure what city you are in Texas, but. Uh, but you have done some vlogs over there in uh, Vegas and there's been some pretty pretty wild times. Anyway, guys, I think I'm gonna stop the clip. Oh yeah, that's right, we're gonna try to go to Sergio's. It's right here at the end. Yeah, all right, let me stop it right here and then I'll pick back up at Sergio's if I'm able to get that clip because if it's too packed or something, I'm not, I'm not, trying, to, I'm not, I'm not trying to do that. But if it's, not, if it's not too packed, if it's not a COVID party, I'll go ahead and go inside and get me a a cafe cubano although I, i'm planning on making coffee but anyway so i just want to see how you uh, get the clip of them making it so you guys could see anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna cut it right here and pick it back up okay so here we are at sergio's let's check it out all right so i couldn't record much in uh much in sergio's but check out the little, they give you the cafecito. I don't know, can you see it there? Give you the cafecito in this cute little to-go <laughs> little cup. That's pretty awesome, I like it. Uh, but yeah, the, you know, the manager came out and, uh, and oh my God, that car's loud. Anyway, the manager came out and told me that, uh, you know, they have like miners working and stuff like that and they didn't want me recording in there. Uh, because they might not be okay with it or you know they might feel nervous and they're working and uh, you know i respect that i respect that i, I told them listen uh, i won't show any of that uh, part and uh and uh and i'm okay with it you know i respect it it's uh it's a private business and and they can manage it however they like now that being said i think it's uh, it doesn't help them right it doesn't help them to not get like free social media right not get free advertising but i do understand the part about you know maybe having minors working and things like that and so i see you know i see it and uh and again it's a private it's a private place so they could do whatever they want so i respect it so i can't show you guys any other, i don't think i can show you anything from inside sergio's but i did get the cafecito and they have a, a setup that uh 
I, I'm not sure if it would have worked anyway for like to so you guys could see how they make it because the machine is like towards the back and you can't really see what they're doing so um, maybe another day at La Carreta something like that they have a window and you could just record and usually there's no miners there so you know I understand so anyway let's get back home give you guys a taste test of the of the pastries and uh, that will be the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of Miami Lakes it said everything that you need to know about Miami Lakes now nah, there's there's much more to know uh, you can have a business here you can work for somebody here you can uh, there's there is uh, industry in Miami Lakes there are warehouses and things like that and businesses here there's an area that are business parks and and it's one of the nicest places to to live uh, here in Miami Dade County um, Miami Lakes is about I would say about 30 minutes northwest of downtown Miami and uh, and it's a beautiful place to live at it's quiet the streets are lined with beautiful trees and everything's uh, very well kept and anyway let's get back home and let's do a taste test all right guys so we are back home oh, man I, I got back home I'm, I, it's cool inside the apartment and I'm coming from outside it's still so hot in Miami guys it is hot man I'm all sweaty now <laughs> anyway let's uh, give you a taste test here's the pastry they just serve it in this thing I mean before it was just so so much more unique and like nice now uh, you know it's just kind of run-of-the-mill but the pastries they still look um, pretty much as they did they smell great they still smell the same mm. I don't know if you can see it but strawberry and cream cheese oh my goodness they're still very good mmm <laughs> I had a lot of these as a kid. I don't know if you could see that, but man, that's good. Okay. So get out to the get out to the French uh, bakery there on Main Street and try it out. Here's the cafecito from from Sergio's. This is unusual. You don't usually get a, a little fancy cup like this. <laughs> they go the extra mile with their little to-go cup. And the cafecito is like about half of this thing. Let's see. That's that sugar hit that I'm telling you guys. Oh man, if you haven't seen my video on how to make Cuban coffee, I put a, a picture of the thumbnail here. Check it out. But, oh yeah, but it's nice. Mm. I'm gonna make my afternoon brew in a little while anyway, but I'm still gonna have this. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this, and I uh, hope you guys like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Give the video a, a thumbs up, and uh, I hope you learned something about, I guess about me and about Miami Lakes, and I'll see you guys next week. I wish to be something special. I wish to be, I wish to be me